Hi, it's Miss Parrott, and this is a video about the basics of diffusion. Diffusion can be defined as the movement of molecules from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. And this is going to happen until the molecules in the uh, solution reach active equilibrium. So, as you can see, if I put a spoonful of sugar into some water, that sugar is going to go down to the bottom, but over time, these sugar molecules will be spread out evenly. In order to better understand diffusion and the ideas of high concentration and low concentration, we need to understand the fundamentals of solutions. A solution is a mixture of a solute and a solvent. And now we need to define what those are. So a solute is what is being dissolved. So in our case from the last slide, that's going to be the sugar. And then a solvent is the thing that's actually doing the dissolving. And so in our example, that's going to be water. So what's the difference between a high concentration solution and a low concentration solution? So just so you see, where this says high solute and it has these brackets, these brackets indicate the word concentration. So having this high solute brackets, that means high solute concentration, which is great because it saves uh, time in writing. So in this example, we have two cups with a liter, one liter, which is the same as a thousand milliliters of water. But this one has 210 units of sugar in a thousand milliliters of water, whereas this one only has 70 sugar units in a thousand milliliters of water. So because there's a higher amount of solute in this amount of solvent, um, you're going to have a higher value. Um, so this is going to have 21, this is a 21% solution, whereas this one is only a 7% solution. Now, what if you have the same amount of sugar units? Right? So remember, amount and concentration are different because depending on the volume of the solvent, the concentration is going to be different. So you can see over here, um, we see that the high solute concentration, let's see if we've got 500 milliliters of water and 80 sugar units within that. If you do the math, that's a 16% sugar solution. Now, this cup, we have the exact same amount of sugar, right? There's still um, 80 sugar units, but our volume is twice as large, so that's a thousand milliliters. And if you do the math, that means that the that this is a 16% sugar solution, which of course is a higher concentration than this one, which is only an 8% solution. So to quickly review the basics of diffusion, if you have a solute, a bunch of it, um, in a certain area, over time the solute molecules are going to diffuse from an area of high concentration right here to an area of low, so you can see those molecules starting to spread out, and then over more time it's going to continue to do this until active equilibrium is reached active or dynamic, sometimes it's called equilibrium, is the idea that yes, the molecules are now all spread out, but they're still constantly moving. They're just moving um, in order to be equally spread out in this solution. So those are the basics of diffusion.